again of course for another edition of the Razman's reality now if you guys read the title down here down below you see that it says shout outs and some possibly big news so we're gonna save the possibly big news for the end of the video and get into the shout outs you know, after answering Eric Buckhouseboy 77s question from the Q&A videos that I just did, I realized that while a lot of you are my best friends because I haven't known you for nearly as long, just as many of you have been really supportive of me since I started doing videos here in the YouTube community. So I'm going to do you a favor. A return favor and talk about you a little bit and plug your channels because I feel like I owe it to you and I'm not excluding anybody if there's anybody that is in my YouTube circle that I didn't mention or haven't already previously mentioned you know remind me down here below and I'll make sure that I plug you and in the next video that I do or the video after that depending on what's go, what goes on. But, I want to start off with Emma, DVDM. Awesome, awesome girl, you know. I commented on a couple of her videos, and the next thing I know, we're having a two-hour conversation through private messaging and commenting back and forth, recommend the, 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 recommending, sorry, I got tongue tied there, all kinds of titles and movies to each other. Just an awesome, awesome chick. If you don't know DVDM, you don't know what you're missing, check her out from over there across the pond in the UK. Awesome, awesome videos. Amazing, amazing friend. You know, I really only have one conversation with her, but she just feels like she would be an amazing person to hang around. Next up is a good friend of hers who's always had nothing but nice things to say to me and that's Lori, Mad Puppet Death. I'm glad that whatever you had going on there Lori that caused you to leave YouTube for a short time. I missed those videos so I don't really know what happened there but I'm glad whatever it was got resolved because you're awesome. I love your stuff because you collect stuff that we just don't see anymore, like Laserdisc and VHS, and other than Sean, Zaren Isaac, you're pretty much the only pack rat in a good way that I know that's like that anymore. So, yeah, that's awesome, and I love watching your stuff, so go check out Mad Puppet Death. And finally, the people that I want to do a shout out to are Eric and... Sana, Buckhouse Boy 77, and Sana and M. They are a great team together when they do their BS videos on Buckhouse Boy's channel. Sana does a great job when Eric is able to help her make videos. And I really, really enjoy Eric and his sense of humor. He reminds me so much of Sean Zaren Lazarak. And I don't think that's a coincidence because we were both inspired by Sean. He did a dead-on impersonation of Sean. If you haven't seen it, it's called Zaren Isaac Tribute Slash Impression over on his channel. Check it out. It is a thing of beauty. He has great editing skills for the short time that he's been making videos. He has better editing skills than I do or... 
well, maybe we're about even, but his editing skills are great. And I just admire from him and Sana both how well they can speak English. You know, all of us here in America and in the UK and everywhere that speak English can really understand these guys really, really well. So that is an awesome, awesome thing right there. So yeah, check out Buckhouse Boy 77 and Sauna and M. All the links are going to be on the description of this video. So just hit more info and everybody's links will be there. Real quickly before I get into the big news, I know that a lot of time I'm all over the place angle-wise in these videos. Sometimes my head bobs up and down. Well, some of that is CP. It's due to my condition that I can't control. So hopefully you can get around that. But mostly it's because the way this camera is set up, my HD camera that I've been using for about a month now, which is a great camera, by the way. Great, great little camcorder. But I can't see what I'm filming because of the way the display is. If you look at the display, the camera's going to be filming the wall. So there's really no way for me to see what I'm filming. That's why my angles are kind of all over the place, if you're wondering about that. So, what is the potentially big news as we close out this video? If you guys saw my latest Five Awesome Stud video, where I filled in on Wednesday and showed the raw file of me just showing off my room a bit. If you guys saw that video, you saw that the reason that these videos are kind of few and far between for me is because I have a very crappy hard drive and it's really, really hard to render stuff. Well, the big news is that here, hopefully very, very soon, I will be getting a brand new computer with a dual hard drive system and I'll have a completely separate hard drive for video rendering and that hard drive alone will be bigger than the one I'm using now and my main hard drive will be bigger than the one I'm using now. So hopefully all my issues will soon disappear. Don't know how many more videos I'm going to have to do with this current hard drive but hopefully very very soon I'm going to get a new computer and when I do I promise to show it off to each and every one of you out there. With that as always this is reality according to the Razman and Razman style. It's not just a catchphrase but a way of life.